Welcome to Tabletop Gaming with Juice. I'm Juice, and today I'm going to talk about a little bit about uh, my homebrew rules for buckler shields. Um, sorry, my daughter's playing outside right here, and I can see her. Um, but anyways, that's why I'm in the kitchen, so I can watch her. Uh, but anyways, my homebrew rules on buckler shields. Now, I did a blog post about it, so I'm not going to give it all away here. In fact, I highly encourage you, if you like what you hear here, go check that out. Uh, I'm going to explain why I did what I did here. Okay. Now, if you're somebody who's who likes things to be realistic, uh, you probably won't... Well, you might like the rules. I don't know realistically how it should be handled, and... That's because I'm not a weapon historian or anything like that. So um, I'm not a trained fighter with shields and swords and, or any of that. Uh, but the reason I did what I did with buckler shields was to encourage players to try a new option without it being the most overpowered option. So for example, this isn't going to be an optimal thing if you want to deal damage, and it's not going to be an optimal thing if you want armor class. Okay. Uh, so it's not meant to be realistic. It's not meant to be um, optimal, but it's meant to give you something different and encourage some of the current mechanics in the game to be used. Well, what do I mean by that? Currently, if you use certain weapons, they have a, a feature that allows you to use them as single-handed or two-handed. And if you use them two-handed, you can then use the next level up of damage dice. Uh, I'm looking at you, Longsword, for example. Uh, I don't have a lot of players who have used the Longsword two-handed, and the reason is because there's no reason to. Um, you're better off dual wielding, or you're better off using a sword and a shield. So the buckler gives you that extra incentive, right? And that's why I've written the rules the way I did. Now, that's just one example. Now, that would be, uh, and you could use it with both. I have two forms of the buckler shield written about. You can use the, the two-handed property of a long sword with both of the versions. Um, but the idea with one of them is that you have, and again, you could use the one that straps to your wrist um, all the time or you could use the kind that actually is just a handle. So it's, you're just holding a handle. And it's a real small, real small shield. So um, a lot of times you'll see in, in artwork of uh, knights that had buckler shields, the, the buckler shield strapped to their side, um, and that's for quick use, like if they want to quickly pull it up. Um, at least that's what I've been told. So I did try to incorporate that mechanically. Uh, so there's that. Now, the other idea with the type that's strapped to your forearm is that you could use a great sword, right? Or a, a maul or anything like a long pole arm. Um, but you could use a two handed weapon with a buckler. So, in order to not make it so every two handed fighter wants to use a buckler, there is a mechanic I wrote about to make it so not everybody wants to do that. Um, now, I've posted it around, people have talked about their ideas, and some people have a suggestion to use disadvantage. And the reason I did not write it up as using disadvantage is because I feel like if I made it disadvantage, there's no way anybody would actually want to use the buckler shield. So, you know, that's just how I wrote it up. Now, I would be curious if you read the blog post in the comments below. I'm also going to put a little annotation in this video, so you can always click on that and go read that. Um, I'm not... Right now, I'm pretty content with how it's written up. Um, I'm not, you know, into debating what's realistic or not, uh, or anything like that. But I am curious your thoughts, what you would change and why. The key part is why. Um, because if I hear a good good reason, um, then I'll probably adjust it. But right now, it's meant as a, a balance thing. It's not meant to be something that's very powerful or for power gamers. Uh, it's not meant to be something that's um, going to make it so you always use it. It's just something so that if, for flavor, you envision your guy having a buckler shield, you can use it. It does give somewhat of a mechanical advantage in some situations, but a disadvantage in others. Um, so, again, it's just an option, and I think it's well balanced in that scope of things. So again, um, go read that article, 
please leave your comments below with your thoughts. Maybe you've incorporated buckler shields in your games. I've heard people say they have, and all they've done is make it so it's a plus one uh, to armor class, and you can use it with two-handed weapons. Um, you know, and that's the simplest way I've seen it written by other people. So I think my way is actually very simple. Uh, and I, I think because it's not something that's going to be used all the time, it's still very, uh, it doesn't really add any crunch to the game or anything. It's still, it's very situational and I think it's pretty easy to remember. So, uh, let me know what you think, you know, uh, I think it's pretty logical with the way the system is written. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious your thoughts, but most importantly, why? So thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.